Hey gang, today I'm going to show you how to replace your scraper blade on a two-stage snowblower. If your snowblower looks like this, great. If yours is a different model, they all pretty much go together and come apart the same on the scraper blade or very similar. So this video is for you as well. Let's jump right into it. So just to start out, I recommend getting some nitro gloves or some kind of gloves so that you don't get your hands um, covered in dirt and grime. Also make sure you're in a well-ventilated area, and I also recommend having eye protection. So what you want to do first is go ahead and tip your machine back. I'm going to show you how to do that. If your machine has gasoline in it, make sure you have something back there to catch the gasoline so you can properly dispose of it. Let's go ahead and get started. So go ahead and set your machine back on its rear. Just kind of push it back like this. Put that under there in case any gasoline comes out. Just kind of gently bring it back like that. Another good idea is to have something up here in case it comes down, it will catch it. What you need is a 7 16th socket. And let me show you where we're working here. Along this bottom, there's four bolts. One here, one here, one here, and one here. You definitely want to replace your scraper blade before it does what this one did. This one is completely worn down, worn down so much that the bolts popped out because the bottom gave way. Let me show you what I mean down here. The hole is completely worn out. So if yours is like this, I'm gonna show you some ways how to still be able to use your machine. Uh, if yours, hopefully yours looks better than this one and it still has those holes on the machine itself where you can anchor this. So go ahead and take out those four bolts. There are seven sixteenths. Take them out and then we're gonna move over here to the side. Gonna take out this. 7 16th. When you're taking these out, it's a good idea to push on that bolt head on the back because it keeps it in there and locked so that you do it, so that the nut will come right off. We can do that on the front one. Go ahead and set that. Scraper to the side, and these two bolts and nuts right there. Go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. Okay. You can get these new scraper blades on Amazon. That's where I got mine. Just look up your make and model of your machine, and you can get a nice new scraper blade. Okay, go ahead and remove your existing one. Just kind of, again, you want gloves because this can cut you. Uh, leather is the best. Go ahead and take your new one, and slide it up on there. You're going to see right here, there is a little bit of a gap over here in the corner. So when you're installing your new one, make sure that this slides underneath that gap. Like so. Let me show you. Slides underneath. Okay, make sure it goes underneath. If yours is like this, See that burr right there? Go ahead and grab a small hammer. We're gonna hammer that down just a little bit. Or it's gonna, or we're gonna have to fight it when we go to put this one on. Also, another way you can do it is grab some vice grips or some pliers and just bend it over. Okay, 
go ahead and bend that over. Probably the better way to do it. Use the hammer method. Grab some pure protection. Okay. That is down pretty good. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and slide this new one up in here. Let me back up so you can see the full zoom out. Okay. Now your bolt holes in this are go to the back. These gotta be on the outside of your machine. So they're gonna be riding on the outside, like so. Ahead. Sometimes you gotta move it around to fit good, but that one went in pretty good. Okay, so if you had a machine that looks like mine, where it was worn completely down, what you want to do is go buy some good washers. Washer about that size, looks like it about three quarters to a half inch wide. And send your bolt down through. Try and hit that hole. And you want to put your washer on there because since we are kind of missing our holes because it's worn off, we're gonna use this washer to grab what is left to still hold our scraper blade on. So go ahead and put your new washer on. If yours does not, if yours still has the holes good, you do not need washers. So go ahead and just install yours back on without washers. If yours holes are ground like mine, you're gonna to wanna to put a washer on there. So go ahead and start your your nuts on your bolts. Oh, that one's being a little stubborn. Let me try this over. Yeah, you might have to get a little bit of rank with it. Beat that metal up so your washer can go on. There we go, mine's on now. Piece of metal was flaring down, pushing my bolt out. We do not want that. Okay, now move over here. Get this one started. This is taking a second. These are being a little stubborn. Okay, over here, this one's just bent up a little. I'm gonna take my pliers and bend that metal down again. Machines like this, they're going to be bent up, rusted up. Sometimes it takes a little bit of patience. I'm going to have to hit this one back on. Hang on one sec. And you just got to get a little rank on it. Be very careful though, ear protection, eye protection. Protect your hands. You don't want these rusted pieces cutting you. Okay, cool. Next thing we're gonna to wanna to do, come over here. Once you got those started on the bottom, we're going to put this back on. Now remember these pieces, their job is to ride a little bit lower than this. 
So make sure you're a hair below that when you're putting these on. Show you what I mean here. Okay. Go ahead and just get your nut and bolt started here. Okay. Now again, so let me show you right here. You want this riding just a hair, if not perfectly um, flush right here. You want it riding just a hair below this piece right here because you want this scraping the ground, not this. So go ahead and hold it like so. You have to let it drop for a second just to start this little part. That's okay. Go ahead and start these. Yeah, this one went a little, this one went a little tight. Okay, snug up the front one, and then the back one. You want it to be right and level. Kind of look on this side, make sure it's looking good. And All right, that is really loud. Go ahead and tighten those up. Okay, we're gonna come to this side and do the same thing. sure your hand is holding this bolt in so that it's grabbing. Okay. Just snug those. You do not want to snap them off. And these bottom ones, go ahead and tighten those up. Again, really snug. Don't snap them off. switch over to my my ratchet here and tighten them up by hand because these are very old bolts they've been through a lot of winters they're rusted they're not as strong as they used to be and then just slowly tighten them up by hand tighten them up by hand like that go ahead and take a look underneath make sure that those washers are grabbing on to both this and your machine mine's looking great that's how you save your machine when you honestly let it go too far. Never let your machine scraper blade go this far. I mean, you're missing more, at least half of the scraper blade on here. You want to switch it definitely way before that. I mean, look at that. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna set the machine back down. see on mine this uh, is hanging up a little bit higher now so the adjustment that we set it to is not going to work let me show you what I'm talking about here you can see down here this is not touching the ground and this scraper is not touching the ground so what you want to do is go and uh, loosen those up and drop it down, do your adjustment again. Now that you're here on the ground, you can see where you want to be. You want this hitting the ground, not this. So bring this down pretty far uh, so that it's protecting your machine. Adjust those on both sides and your machine is back in business. I hope this video was helpful. Go ahead and like and subscribe. It helps me to keep putting these videos out. Definitely want to help you guys to know how to fix your machines. Thank you so much. Have a great day.